John Searle, you have strong views on the subject of um, artificial intelligence, and I think those views focus on one argument. Yeah. And it's something about a Chinese room. Well, let me tell I you a little bit. Would, I wonder if you would tell me what it aims to prove and then tell me what it is. Okay. Um, I like to talk about particular programs and the sort of thing that's claimed for them. So let's take as an example the Yale program at the Yale Artificial Intelligence Lab for understanding stories. That's understanding it in quotes. The way it works is this. You give the computer a story. These tend to be rather simple-minded stories. Here's a story. Man went into a restaurant and ordered a hamburger. When they brought him the hamburger, it was burned to a crisp. So the man stormed out of the restaurant without paying the bill. Now you ask the computer, did the man eat the hamburger? And lo and behold, the computer says, no, he didn't eat the hamburger. Now that's an interesting result because you remember it didn't say in the story whether right. or not the guy ate the hamburger. One up for the computer. One up for the computer. Okay, now, and that's presumably doing something we could do. That is, is passing the test that we would test, but we would expect a child to pass for understanding the story. Okay, how does it work? Well, the computer has in its data bank in addition to the story, it's got a representation of how things go on in restaurants called a restaurant script. And it matches the story and the question against the restaurant script before it gives the answer. Now, what, what are we to make of this? Well, the, what I call the strong AI people, and I'm really not sure Maggie is one of them, but the people who are sort of the gung-ho fanatics in AI say, this proves that the computer literally understands the story. Now, I think I can demonstrate conclusively that it proves no such thing, uh -huh. and in fact that the computer doesn't understand the story. And that's, that is that understanding without inverted No problems. quotes here. I no mean, kind this of is funny the honest and John understanding. Right. I mean, and to their credit, a lot of people in AI insist that we are using these words in their literal sense. Simon and Newell say the understanding we attribute to the computer is the same understanding we attribute to human beings. Okay, what I ask you to imagine is this. I like to do it in the first person and, and have everybody do it from their own point of view. Imagine I'm locked in a room, and I got a huge box full of Chinese symbols. I don't know any Chinese, just so many squiggle squiggle signs to me. Now they bring in another box full of Chinese symbols, and they give me a bunch of rules in English for matching these symbols. So it says, take a squiggle squiggle sign out of box number one, and go and put it next to a squaggle squaggle sign out of box number two. Just to jump ahead a second, that's called a computational rule over formally specified elements. Okay, now let's suppose they give me in another little batch of Chinese symbols, together with some more rules in English for shuffling these symbols around, only this time I give them back uh, the chaps who are giving me all this stuff through the window, I give be them back some Chinese symbols. So here I am in my room with my three bunches of Chinese symbols. I'm shuffling symbols around. Symbols are coming in, and I'm shuffling them back out. Now imagine, unknown to me, the guys who gave me the first box call it a restaurant script. The second box they call a story about a restaurant. The third bunch of symbols they call questions about the story. The rules in English they call the program. The answer, the, the stuff that I give them back through the window, they call answers to the questions about the story. And me, they call the computer. Now let's suppose that after a while, they get so good at writing the program, and I get so good at shuffling symbols, that my answers to the questions are indistinguishable from native Chinese speakers. So the story comes in, I don't know what it means, it's a bunch of symbols. But uh, the question follows, did the guy in the restaurant eat the egg foo young? And I give back the symbol that means, no, the guy didn't eat the egg foo young. Now, I pass the test for understanding the story, but I don't understand a word of Chinese. Right. I think now, that, is, that is the Turing test. Is that's so-called Turing Could you say Turing a word test. about that? Well, Alan Turing, uh, a great British uh, uh, mathem mathematical genius, invented the test for determining whether or not we should attribute understanding to the computer, and the test was, could the computer fool an expert? So let's suppose that I can fool the experts. My answers to the questions are as good as those of native Chinese speakers. Imagine they even give, give me a question of the form, uh, do do you understand Chinese? And I give them back answers that mean in Chinese. Of course I understand Chinese. Why do you guys keep asking me these stupid <laughs> questions? Can't you see I'm passing the Turing test? Now, here's the punchline. This is the point of the whole analysis. I do not understand a word of Chinese. And if I don't understand Chinese in this example, neither does any computer because the computer has exactly what I have. The computer has that and nothing more. It has a set of formal rules for manipulating symbols. It takes symbols as input, it manipulates the symbols, it gives symbols as output. 
And if I don't understand Chinese, which I obviously don't, there's no way any other digital computer can understand Chinese or anything else because all it has is uninterpreted formal symbols. Or just to put this again in one last sentence, and that is what the computer has, and Maggie described this very well with the programs, is a syntax and not a semantics. What it's got is a syn set of formal rules for manipulating uninterpreted formal symbols, but what human beings have is not just a bunch of symbols. We know what the symbols mean. You give me a story in English and I know what it means. So